Hello and welcome to the Microsoft Cybersecurity Reference Architectures. My name is Mark Simos, Lead Cybersecurity Architect and primary author for the uh, slides that you're about to see. Richard? Hey, I'm Richard Diver. I'm the Senior Technical Business Development Manager and I am a big fan of these architectures. So thank you for inviting me along today. <laughs> Thanks for joining, Richard. So we're going to do a very quick video just to intro so folks are familiar with what's here. Um, we took um, the, the original cybersecurity reference architecture was just that one in the top left corner there um, with the original capabilities. And that really kind of answered that, that first question people had in the early days of Microsoft, which is you know, still something that we see today, which is what do you got? You know, what, 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 Microsoft, what does Microsoft do in the cybersecurity space? And so there's really kind of two different ones because it is a fairly dense slide, um, the, the build slide, and then you know, that does it one step at a time and then just a sort of static full slide. The other one that we're getting a lot of questions around lately is people. So a lot of folks are you know, kind of trying to figure out how to modernize their programs and what kind of jobs to be done do I have in security so I can make sure that my team is, is, is structured right and they're, they're working on the things that are actually important and that you know, I've got coverage over these things that are happening. Because the, the, you know, the, the environment's changing, the business environment, the market, that I, and then of course the, the cloud platform is changing the way IT does business and then the attackers are really getting creative. And so it really, we found, is very helpful for organizations to understand that people side. So we've got a full slide and a video on that one. Zero Trust user access. This is a hot topic. You know, zero Trust is much more, as you'll see when they go to the second page, but what is um, Zero Trust, you know, what's, what's that first starting point of Zero Trust look like? Um, security operations is a very popular one. Um, you know, how should I think about um, setting up my tools so I can, you know, be you know uh, analyst centric and people centric, and really be effective. Native controls, what's built into Azure, attack chain, what does Microsoft do to cover your common attack chains, insider risk and external risks alike, and then the, the front, the 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 the, 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 the multi-cloud and cross-platform. A lot of people don't realize that Microsoft doesn't just secure Microsoft. We secure AWS, GCP, Linux, you name it, um, iOS, Android. So we want to make sure there are some really clear visuals to help people with that. And then the operational technology environment. Uh, Microsoft actually takes those zero trust principles all the way to these 30, 50 year old um, computers um, that were you know, modernizing the uh, 50 to 100 year old uh, physical machines that they control. So uh, Richard, any uh, comments on this? Yeah, I use some of these on a daily basis and others I use probably at least once a week. I think what it helps is uh, to pivot the conversation. Sometimes we get down a rat hole about, uh, I'm just gonna look for an endpoint solution or I just need an identity thing. This helps you to take that step back sometimes, consider the whole complex um, solutions architecture you've got to consider, and then go back to this point specific that you were uh, talking about with the context of how that interacts with everything else. Nothing's about a single point solution anymore. It's about how everything integrates with everything else. And these are great guidance to walk you through those talking points. Cool, thanks. Yeah, we really do, really do want to solve the, the, the problems that our customers are facing. That's That's the number one thing here. And so the second page is sort of supporting content that we found that people found very valuable. Kind of an overview of Zero Trust, you know, a good five or six or seven slides, if I recall correctly, that kind of walk through why we do Zero Trust, what it is, and then what do we recommend first, next, and later? And that's where that rapid modernization plan or ramp um, uh, kicks in. Um, I'm actually the, uh, the co-chair of the Zero Trust Architecture Working Group at, uh, at the Open Group. This is where the, the uh, Jericho Forum was hosted. It's you know, been merged in the Security Forum since. But you know, this is another sort of outside of Microsoft perspective that allows you to kind of see how they're thinking about um, uh, Zero Trust. I guess we are from my perspective, but um, uh, yeah, it just kind of allows you to kind of get that, um, that other uh, contrast. A um, lot of investments in security operations that folks um, are really interested, find fascinating around how do we kind of uh, manage our threat intelligence at Microsoft. You have eight trillion plus signals a day, and how do we kind of boil that down and actually make it useful on a day-to-day -day basis? You know, how do we wire together and integrate um, our technology so that SOC analysts don't have to hop from tool to tool? And a little bit of a behind the scenes on that, what it took to do that, and you know, kind of how we bring that there. Um, how we're bringing security operations together with access control so that you know, uh, compromised machines aren't, you know, able to access your valuable corporate resources while they've got malware on them and, and while the tool set and your security tools know it. So you don't wanna, and so we, we, we really kind of pulled together two disciplines in security there, again, solution oriented. You know, when you talk about attacks today and you see anything running across the headlines, 
good chance it's ransomware. Sometimes it's nation state. But it, behind almost all of those is securing privilege access. Um, and so we have a whole section there on privilege access to kind of walk through Microsoft strategy. We, we went from strategy to tactics to a specific implementable plan and automation for it to help organizations accelerate that based on our zero trust uh, capabilities. But super, super important to protect your admins. Um, as I mentioned, the ransomware, we're seeing um, an explosion in ransomware and extortion attacks. We have very specific prescriptive guidance on what to do first, next, and later there, projects, plans, um, and uh, uh, you know who to bring in and uh, from a stakeholder. We want to shortcut all that project management stuff and get people um, defenses stood up on that. And of course, going beyond VPN. So, how do you how do you get um, past uh, all the challenges of VPN around? You know, um, a difficult to patch, full network access if you're authenticated, oftentimes weak authentication. So, how do we think about that? So, really wanted to get folks um, a lot sort of that richer guidance to fill in some of the gaps of those um, big diagrams. Richard, yeah, any sometimes, sometimes these are like new topics. And I think this is a great place to start learning about a topic if you've never touched it before. And other times you may know the topic really well. Zero Trust has been around for a while, but you don't know necessarily how Microsoft is approaching it with the rapid innovation and new solutions we're constantly bringing out. Um, having done this for 20, 25 years now, trying to keep up with this uh, guidance and solutions, this is a great way to tie that all together. Cool. And then um, the next page here just has um, some links, you know, much like all of the, the diagrams in here. Uh, if we mention something, it pretty much has some hover text almost always that'll tell you what that is and then take you to a documentation link so you can kind of follow up on it. So really meant to be a, a good uh, discovery tool as well. And so the, the um, you know, we've got the resources of cloud adoption framework here. Uh, this reference architectures itself. We have a lot of security documentation that um, is then linked and associated there. The Azure Security Benchmark, which is sort of our one-stop shop for Azure Security best practices and how to apply it to baselines. Some of those initiative plannings that we mentioned earlier with the Zero Trust Ransomware, Privilege Access, the top 10 Azure best practices for security. Um, of course, our product documentation, well-architected framework. We're really trying to fill in this full set of guidance so folks know all the way from business leadership all the way down to implementation, really how, to, how do you modernize security, how do you get effective. Um, because the attacks just keep getting worse and worse. Richard, any final thoughts before we close out? Yeah, you could be uh, new to your role. So maybe you've uh, grown up through your uh, career path and you're now a CISO. Welcome to the role. You might want some guidance here on how to get started on that one. Um, also, you could be new to your company. Maybe you've just joined, you're straight in uh, at the bottom, at the top, anywhere on the sides. Whatever your role is, whatever your responsibility is, again, there's guidance here that's never too late to take a fresh look, a fresh approach, and think about pivoting and doing something different. Because like you said, you can guarantee the attackers are doing the same. They're going to pivot and find a new way to get in. So you need to constantly look at what are all the ways I can defend and protect my estate. The guidance is in here. We just need to take the time to go through the videos, read the content, and ask questions. Yeah, and don't forget the slide notes. There are detailed notes for each slide build on kind of what each one is uh, really about. And so with that, thank you, Richard. Appreciate it. And thank you all for watching and hope you all get a lot out of the cybersecurity reference architectures. Thank you.